to the Ambassador and Permanent Representative of Ukraine. Thank you, Mr. President. We appreciate both briefings, which only add to the extremely gloomy picture we all observe for many months now. The situation in Syria is a cause of a constant concern. After six years of conflict in Syria, we still do not see any viable progress towards a political solution. The regime forces and its allies continue to pursue the aim of changing the military balance and creating new realities on the ground. If the recent history of this conflict is any guide, such a logic is doomed to failure. During the last three months, we have seen four offensives and, and counter-offensives with the sides of the conflict taking, losing, and retaking the ground. There is no winner in this game, but the loser is obvious. It is the civilians who continue to suffer from such a warmongering of the hoax. We align with the condemnation issued by the World Health Organization on 16th November, stating that between 13 and 16 November, six hospitals were attacked in Syria in aerial bombardments. These numbers are set to grow given the additional firepower reinforcements employed by the Russian Federation and the active participation of the Admiral Kuznetsov Naval Group in the bombing of Aleppo, Idlib, and Homs. Yet it may sound like a joke, but this is what I found yesterday in the Twitter of the Russian Embassy in the, in the United Arab Emirates. I quote, they allegedly destroyed hospitals in Aleppo exist only in the mind of the Department of State's spokesperson John Kirby. We're also deeply concerned at the recent information of the WHO that all hospitals in the besieged treble held eastern Aleppo are out of service after days of heavy airstrikes. President Assad has been very vocal recently in the media domain. He made it clear in an interview with the Portuguese RTP channel on the 16th of November that he continues to view all, all of the forces in Aleppo and other embattled provinces as terrorists. Unfortunately, we see some attempts to review the role of the Syrian president in the future of the country. The changing of the great powers policy towards a political transition in Syria could provoke more instability in the entire Middle East. We underscore the urgent need for accountability in Syria. Welcoming the start of work of the UN Board of Inquiry into the bombardment of the United Nations Syrian Arab Red Crescent uh, relief operation to Urum al kubra on 19 September 2016, we look forward to its conclusions. We also call for an immediate inquiry into the killing of, uh, on 26 October of children and other civilians in a school complex in Haas village, Idlib province. The perpetrators of such horrific crimes appear to act in confidence that there will be no accountability and justice. They must be proven wrong. I thank you, Mr. President.